great to see you all here on Cheyenne and Daniel's special day. We all know it's been quite a year and a half, but hopefully we're nearing an end. And this can be a celebration of both love and a return to nor normalcy. Each and every one of you know Cheyenne or Daniel in your own special way. And they wanted you to join them here as they celebrate the renewal of their marriage vows today. So, Shai, when we did this a year ago, I thought I had some okay vows, uh, but then you told me yours and I can't quite do the same ones because you did too good. So I changed mine a little bit for you. Um, but our relationship has brought more joy to my life than anything ever has. And I do promise to keep that joy with us forever. However, I know, yeah, however, now that we have been married, I know that these words are more or less pointless because I know the small acts of love that we do for each other every day. And I know that words just can't quite do that justice. Whether it's little things like putting on a cup of coffee before the other is up, or the small looks we give each other and know exactly what the other needs at that moment. Or looking at a stinky baby that you've already changed three times, but change them anyways because you know the other has had a rough day. My love for you will never stop growing, no matter where our road leads. I love our family and I love you always. <laughs> Daniel, you are the first person that ever made me truly realize that there's not just one right way to do life, that we can figure it all out together, and as long as I have you by my side, it'll be okay. So I promise to spend every day for the rest of our lives reminding each of us of that, reminding us both that everything will be okay. I promise to make you laugh when things seem tough and hold you close when things get sad. I promise to grow with you and never away from you. Most importantly, I promise to love every goofy, kind, annoying, amazing part of you for every single day that I'm lucky enough to get to spend with you. The kids and I are so incredibly fortunate, and I promise we will never forget that. Fantastic. <laughs> by the power vested in me, by the great state of Minnesota, it is my honor to read, declare you <laughs> husband and wife. You may now kiss the